Welcome to the Two Geeks in a Microphone podcast, your one-stop shop for television, movie, video games, comic books, book reviews, and more. Now, without further ado, here's Stephen and Mike. Let's talk some Star Wars, a uh, Bad Batch, the next episode. All right. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. I am your co-host, Stephen Boster, along with Mr. Michael Shanks himself is in the house. Mike said, everybody. Good morning, all you geeks in geekdom land. Are you ready to talk some Bad Batch? That's right. Bad Batch. All right. So we are here uh, with our special bonus episode uh, talking about the Bad Batch each week. And uh, and so we are here. This is number six. Six. Okay. Six. six. Oh, wow. All right. So six episodes in. Uh, and uh, this was called, what was the name of this episode? It was called Decommissioned. I actually know it this time. Last time I wasn't prepared and I didn't know it. And <laughs> right. <laughs> I wasn't letting it happen this episode. Right. <laughs> now, I'll be open with you. I'm like, how are we going to do a podcast, a full podcast on this episode? Because the episode itself is only like 20 minutes. Now, not <laughs> counting the credits. Okay. Not counting the credits. It's only like 20 minutes. Sure. But it's a pretty fast paced podcast i mean episode <laughs> and i'll maybe oh well maybe i'm predicting this is gonna be a fast-paced episode here we go no i'm just kidding so with the podcast i mean so with the episode man i did it again um it it was quick but a lot happened but it was short i thought it was i mean i mean i guess a normal half an hour episode okay kind of a thing so um what were your overall thoughts about this episode um, not my favorite episode again. Okay. Uh, I, I said that with the last one too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I wouldn't, I would not say this was filler though. Um, cause we got some development in this episode. Um, okay. not sure I like the development, <laughs> Okay, but, but we right. definitely got some development in this episode. We got some returning characters from the Clone Wars. Um, who I initially yes. thought were throwaway characters from the Clone Wars, okay. honestly. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Still not the biggest fan of these two characters, but you know, they they were good in the episode. I'll, I'll, I'll give them right. that. Um, they right. turned out fun. Um, uh, I, I liked the whole droid aspect. I thought that was pretty cool. I liked what they did with the droids. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. So, so yeah, there were some right. good aspects about it. Um and yeah, I, I agree. It moved pretty quick. So yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I I agree. I with this episode, I was like, ah, okay, you know. I think that added to my. Are we going to get a full, you know, bonus episode in with this? Um, it's it, it was good. I like the concept of what you know. This is a uh, not a snatch and grab episode. It's a here's your MacGuffin that yeah. you're trying to get. And go for, and then, uh, and then, and then they go get it, and then uh, I was like, okay, yeah, but uh, okay, we'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. But we got a MacGuffin. We we got some returning characters. We got a little bit of development to the overall arc of the story of the the arc of the series. Um, right. We right. got a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I, I thought That's that was right, funny. We did. Um, we did. We did. <laughs> I don't know if we've really talked about Wilhelm screams on the podcast. Well, we. I don't think so. But this is probably a good time that we can talk about it. Yeah, sure. I think every episode has one and stuff. So, well, pretty much um, any anything Star Wars has got a Wilhelm scream in it. Just about. Um, and there's Wilhelm screams right. in Indiana Jones. Um, for there in a lot. Well, there's Wilhelm screams in a lot. Oh yeah, the Wilhelm scream is in it. Just almost every movie. Just about, just about. It's kind of I a, mean, it's kind of an insider's inside joke. Right. Um, right. It started off with some film, it, some films. Old western. 
Was well, it like yeah. an old Western? The guy falls off his horse off a cliff or something like that, and that was the scream. Right, yeah. That's that's exactly where it came from. Uh, I don't remember the Western. I mean, there's YouTube videos on it. You can look it up. Um, just look up Wilhelm Scream on YouTube, and you'll you'll yeah, find like, the history on it. Um, is that uh, W I L H E L M? I think so. Wilhelm. Okay. It, it'll right. get you there, though. I'm. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's got a funny. It's got a funny uh, backstory to it, and and you're right. It right. was some old western that some film students, um, and I, I'm pretty sure that included George Lucas. He was one of them. Okay. That uh, they, you know, they threw in this, Spielberg, Lucas. Yeah, Spielberg, Lucas. Uh, I, I don't know who all's in that camp, but um, <laughs> several of the the directors from that period of time had decided that for fun in each one of their projects, they were going to put the quote unquote Wilhelm scream. And I believe that was Wilhelm is the name of the actor. I don't think it's the name of the character. Okay. I th- I, th- I think right. I again, look it up on YouTube. You'll find <laughs> videos on it and and you'll find out exactly whether I'm right or wrong whether it's the actor's name or the character's name, but right. nonetheless right. you're right. He like falls off a horse and down a canyon or, and it makes us ah! Right. And it's right. just this when you hear it, when you hear the screen, you will recognize it. Oh yeah, you will never unhear it again once you know That's what right. it is. That's right. Yeah. Once you know, it's kind of like when you buy a car and then all of a sudden yeah. you start seeing that car everywhere right. on the road. You right. Know, kind of a thing. Which before yeah. you bought that car, you never saw it. That's right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It, it's kind of kind of the same thing. Yeah. And and Megan and I, we kind of drive Brenda crazy sometimes because we're like, oh, that's a Wilhelm scream. That's a Wilhelm <laughs> scream, you know. But we're a couple nerds. So, you know. Right. right. To, to <laughs> us, it's fun to find. It's kind of like... When you go to Disney and you look for hidden Mickeys, okay? So oh. so if you're a Disney fan, you know what I'm talking about. There are hidden Mickeys all over Disney World. All over the place. And 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 it's it's a whole game. There's heck there are books on it uh, out there uh, of wow. of all the di- wow. different yeah. So uh, Wilhelm scream to to uh, movie buffs is the same thing as hidden Mickey's are to Disney buffs. So, okay. <laughs> and yes, we got a Wilhelm scream in this episode. <laughs> it's always fun to recognize it because you're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so there you go, Stephen. We just filled in like ten minutes of time on on Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's funny. So uh, if you know how we do our ratings at the beginning, you know, yep. and then we talk about it. If you were to give it a rating, what rating would you give this episode? So or, or we always do out of five, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm going to go a three on this one also. Uh, All right. So three out of five. Yeah. Stormtrooper helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Stormtrooper helmets. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, no, no. Three out of five droid heads. Oh, nice. Okay. There we All go. Right. That's very fitting for this episode. Right. Very good. I like that. Okay. And, and I did I enjoy it, that. I give it 2.5. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I um, uh, I understand. It was a filler episode for me. Um, I think you're right. I think it was a filler episode. It, even though it was like, oh, hey, let's introduce these characters and then let's do this big thing at the end kind of a thing. And I was just like, mm, yeah, I, you know, I thought we were beyond that. That's why I call it a filler episode. That is a normal episode, TV episode or series episode trope. You introduce a new character and then have a cliffhanger at the end to kind of, uh, you know, do a little Easter egg or, you know, let's just add this. And, and I'm okay with that. I, I don't say I don't like that. I just say that's a filler episode for me. Right. And 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 so I didn't it was okay. It had some good fun moments. It was enjoyable kind of a thing. But guess what? I'm not going to go back and watch it when when the, when the, when if I go back and rewatch these, I will <coughs> skip this episode. And that's why I give it the score. Is it rewatchable for me? <coughs> Would I go back and watch it again? Or, you know, that kind of a thing. Now, I'm sure some of the listeners are going, Steven, you're off base. This is a great episode. You know, <coughs> kind of a thing. Hey, 
You know, we talked about, um, or, you know, in one of our other podcasts, we talked about, look, you be you. You like mm-hmm. what you like. You just like what you like. And we accept, you know, Mike and I disagree. You know, you and I disagree on stuff. And I think that's what makes it. We still accept each other, you know, kind of like in the world, you know, people with opinions think they're the only opinion that matters. And if you got it, you're wrong. And we joke about it. You're pretty good at joking about it with me kind of a thing. But that's what I appreciate about us. I sort of appreciate about our podcast and the discussions that we have and the guests that we have is we can agree to disagree and, and move on. And look, if you if anybody out there, you like this episode, more power to you. I do understand there are some things to like about it, and I won't fault you for that. But for right. me, it was just, I just given it the score. This is my lowest score out of the whole series thus far. And just because I felt like it was filler. Um, I want you to do storytelling. I don't want filler. I really right. don't. Um, don't waste my time. I've got, I've got, <clears throat> I've got a lot of things I got going on and <laughs> I watched it and I'm like, mm, this is a pass. And, and, you know, okay. I watched it so we could have our podcast. Right. But other than that, yeah. I won't go back and watch this episode. I agree with you. I don't think it's, I don't think it's all that rewatchable. Um, this, yeah, this one, if I got the season, I probably, I probably would skip over this one too. Um, right. I mean, yeah, this is like, uh, going back to the Clone Wars days <clears throat> and the, uh, what was it? Three, four episode arc of, uh, sunny day in the void. That was the worst, uh, Clone Wars, uh, uh, series ever. <laughs> and I will never rewatch that one. <laughs> right. oh gosh right. the, the only thing good about that series was uh they introduced the character gascon which is voiced by steven stanton and steven stanton is awesome i love steven stanton mm. but uh and Ga- the gascon was a great character but the 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 story arc was terrible it, right it was horrible so yeah we got a good character out of it but other than that we got nothing from it and um Right. Again, this episode, like I said, um, there is there is a little bit of story development. Um, I mean, not I don't know if you could say story development. It's continuing to the overall arc of the season. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Um, but sure. but we had sure. a MacGuffin, and unfortunately, that didn't even pay off. You know. <laughs> Well, let's you know, you might be that, right. So. This the, I may have to lower my score after we talk. So, uh, well, here's the thing. I, let's go ahead and talk about it. Obviously, spoiler alert. We're just going to go through it. We're, if you're listening to this, we're assuming that you've seen the episode. So we're not going to do I, I, There's other podcasters and other YouTubers out there that what they do is they walk you through step by step through the whole thing. I, I think we just talk about the stuff we liked and the stuff that we didn't like. Sure. Just go through that. So first off, let's let's talk about the MacGuffin. The concept of the MacGuffin I liked. Getting the head of the droid, the commander droid. What what was the was that the the you know what the droid that him? does uh, that the learning droid. You right. Know, it was the whole thing of okay, I thought, okay, that makes sense. That's not just anything. That's like, hey, if you get it, it's a learning droid, you could figure out strategy. <laughs> hey, you know? before before we get to that, though, we should mention yeah. the fact that uh, Rhea Perlman was back. Um, yes, Rhea Perlman so, was so back. So we got Sid back. So we were right. Yeah. She she is going to be a reoccurring character. Mm-hmm. Um, almost <laughs> almost had a uh, a team feel about it because she sends her sends him on a mission. You know, yeah. it's it, either a team or Charlie's Angels. A <laughs> team. Okay. All right. Well, I only say Charlie's Angels because she's almost like Charlie sending the angels out, you know, on right. a mission. Yeah, I um, have eighteen because I think Wrecker is Mister T, man. Well, I I agree with you, and I I think I think <laughs> actually, <laughs> you know, we made jokes that uh, uh, Omega could be um, uh, Hannibal, but I think Hunter's Hannibal. In fact, right. I would absolutely love if Han- Han- if Hunter put a cigar, big old cigar, in his mouth. But I know Disney wouldn't allow that. But oh right. my gosh, it would be. Freaking hilarious! I would love it. I love it when, when a plan, plan comes, comes together. together. <laughs> <laughs> if we could get that, I would. Oh yeah, right. I, I would be in heaven. That would be awesome. Right. <laughs> so, so yeah, I just wanted to state though that we were correct. Rhea Perlman is going to be a recurring character in this series, mm. um, which I like. I, I like her. 
I think she's a fun character. So that's a plus you know, for this episode. I, I, um, I know they, they're putting in the, the ambiguity of her allegiance uh, in play for tension. You know what I mean? For tension for the, the thing. So Yeah, we discussed that I, a little bit. We did. And, I, you know, I like to know which ones they are, which, you know, that kind of a thing. So, um I think overall she's she is on the bad batch side. I I think um I don't know, it's kind of fun to have that that little question. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 <laughs> you don't like it. You don't like it. Okay. I, right. I, I I want my tension in other areas. You know, I like to know that the good guys are the good, good guys, guys and the bad guys are the bad guys. That's just me. Okay. Um and, I get it. And I get it. I can see why you would like that. Um, and, th- and that's okay. I like it because it okay just. for you to be wrong. No, I can see that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> like we just shared 10 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Going to be in the ring. Ding, ding. Let's just ding, bring it ding. on. No. Um, no, I, 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 I kind of like the idea that we don't know exactly where she, she, where her allegiance lies yet. Well, I think she's whoever pays. Well, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what? Sense, From a bounty hunter aspect, that makes sense. Right. From a space Western kind of act, you know, you're doing what you have to do to survive. Right. That's space Westerns. That's the main theme or one of the main themes in space Westerns. I don't care if it's this Mandalorian, um, the show Firefly was the same way. Space Western. Um, you do what you have to do to survive. It takes and, me back to Django Fett in episode two. Look. I'm just a man trying to survive in this galaxy. Yeah, trying to make his way in the universe. Make, yeah, make make my way in the universe. I like that line. It's a good line. I need to find that line. It is line. a good line, and maybe that's the theme I need to approach, it yeah. is with this series, this is continuing the concept of the whole space western style, and and maybe it's meant to have a lead-in into Mandalorian or something. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know this takes place before the other series, you know, the the original trilogy, I, I you know, um, or it's when um, not yeah, the original trilogy. Yeah, it's in, it's in between. This, sure. this is in between Revenge and You Hope um, around. the Yeah. And, and so this is right after Revenge. This because it was Order 66. Right. So. Yep. And then I get that Mandalorian is. Mandalorian is after Return of the Jedi. Okay, so there's going to be some crossover for sure. Well, yeah, there's going to be crossover. We'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, well, I don't know. You have a whole trilogy in between this series and and Mando. True, true. We have episode four, five, and six: Star Wars, A New Hope, and right. Empire and Return. So, right. so I mean, yeah. I, there may be some connect. Well, there obviously is one connection. We got Fennec. Uh, Fennec, she's a connection. So, mm-hmm. and being the fact that this seems to be leaning towards a bounty hunter feel, um, I guess there'll be connections there. Um, we right. we could possibly get Boba Fett um, at some Ooh, point. Ooh, could we get Cad Bane? Oh my gosh! I you know it I all miss dep- some Cad Bane. It, I do too. Cad Bane is one of my all time favorite. I he ranks real high up there with. Okay, with, so if you were to say Boba bounty Fett. hunters, it, okay, so so okay, we are going to get it. We are going to get a full episode in. Yeah, because now so, we just went a different direction. Well, but but squirrel, squirrel, <laughs> right? But realistically, if we're talking space western, we're talking the whole thing. We're talking about whose allegiance is Sid, kind of a thing. I'm just trying sure. to make my way in the universe. Bounty hunters, that's fine. You're talking about your top bounty hunters. So, number one, obviously, for you is Boba Fett. Easily, yep. Easily Boba Fett. Number two, would that be Cad Bane? That'd be Cad Bane. Okay. I, Cad Bane was okay. my absolute favorite character from the Clone Wars. I love Cad Bane. Uh, when he first came in on scene, I was like, I like this guy. You know, now, he had the hat and stuff. And then you find out how ruthless he is. I, I got I to gotta, I gotta confession, though. Part of the reason I like Cad Bane, it has to do with his look, okay? Okay. And then it goes back to my heavy metal roots because he looks like Eddie from Iron Maiden from the Somewhere Somewhere in Time album. And in, partic- um, in okay. particular, it's the song uh, Stranger in a Strange Land. 
Um, so just look up uh, Eddie, Stranger in Strangeland, Iron Maiden. Just just Google that, and you'll get a look of what I'm talking about. And I think right. he looks just like Cad Bane. Right. It's fantastic. So Iron, Iron, everybody, I'm doing it for us real time, so you can do it at the same time if you want. Iron Maiden, Stranger in a Strange Land. Yeah. Iron Maiden, Stranger in a Strange Land. And then do the image search. I'll do images. Right. And you should get this awesome looking Clint Eastwood style. Dude, there is a seven inch figure. Oh, yeah. Of that. Yeah, I do not have a figure of Eddie, really. I would love, I would, in that particular one, I would absolutely love. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Now tell me that does not look like Cad Bane. (laughs) <laughs> that looks like Cad Bane to a certain Doesn't degree. It? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's not. It's not identical. But the moment I saw Cad Bane, that's what came to my mind, and and I've always loved that version. Anyone who knows Iron Maiden, they know that Eddie has a different look for each album, and sometimes he has a different look even for different singles. And um, right. he he looks like a cyborg in in this one, which Cad Bane kind of looks like a cyborg with the tubes coming down and everything. He does, and right into his cheeks. And right, it goes into his cheeks and everything. And and uh, Eddie has a similar look to that. Plus, Eddie's wearing the big cowboy hat, you know, and he's got the trench coat, and he just he just looks Clint Eastwood, you know. I, yeah. I, I I so picture Eddie walking in, going, "Go ahead." <laughs> Make my right, day, yeah. you know, and right. and I I got the exact same feel when Cad Bane came on in the Clone Wars. I'm like, I can see that. I, I love totally this guy. I love this right. guy. So right. yes, Cad Bane's easily so, my second favorite bounty hunter. So can do you think Cad Bane will pop up in the Bad Batch universe? And I'm only saying that, I'm only making that connection based upon what you said about Sid. I'm only trying to make my way in the universe. You right. Know, and you, we don't know what her, her allegiance is. So okay, so. Cad Bane popping up in this part in this part of the timeline, the that depends on what Disney wants to do, because there was a uh, an unfinished Clone Wars episode where Cad Bane and Boba Fett uh, have a have a showdown. Nuh-uh. Yeah, yeah, look it up. It's on YouTube. Um, it's unfinished. Um, it's still in that animatronic form to where I know it, you know. You pre- they call it previs, right? Right? Right. Pre-viz. So, so all of the the effects of the animation haven't been added to it yet. It's it's very mechanical looking. Um, that's kind of the only way I could describe that. But um, there's a storyline that that they were doing. It never got finished. But Disney has stated that that's still canon. So, if it's canon, then. Yeah, we're probably not going to see Cad Bane in this, or for that matter, even in The Mandalorian. Because um, I would absolutely love ha- having Cad Bane pop up in The Mandalorian. Now somewhere. I got to go watch that preview. We're going to have to do yeah. an episode just on that. Okay. All, All right. right. Everybody yeah. heard it. We're going to do a special Star Wars bounty hunter episode. Uh, that sounds great to me. <laughs> I, I love bounty hunters. So, yeah. And again, Boba All Fett's right. my favorite. All right. So, yeah, so, yeah well, it all depends get... on what they decide. To do okay. with that, um, right. I, right. I, I personally would kind of like them to throw it out, so that they can they have more room with right. Cad. If Bane. it's not published, you right. know what I'm saying. If it's not published, it, it would it be can- why why would it be canon? See, I you know what I'm saying? I question that when it, when they cl- when they made that claim, I questioned that. I'm like, but it's not it's not it's a not published, published issue so how or issue canon? episode. So how can it be canon? And, and only the diehards know about it. And you know? why why would they not bring it up when they redid when they redid the last season? Right. Well, and see, it completely goes against everything they've said with um, throwing out the the EU. Okay, the original expanded universe, because they said, well, we don't want to be tied to to those stories. We want to be free to do what we 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 can. Well, if you do that, you're tying yourself down to an unreleased episode. Why would you tie yourself down to that? It it makes no sense. And honestly, the only... Unless, unless, that we should have saved this for the other podcast, but unless it's they bring it in for the purpose of like a Mandalorian episode. It's possible. 
or um, live action. You or, mean you mean to shift the the timeline of where where it is in the timeline? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I they I'm, still like the story. They still want the story, but that's the outcome. Well, there's there's an important element because it gives you the answer to the dent in Boba Fett's hat hat, hat helmet. <laughs> oh. So Which I mean, he buffed out in Mandalorian. No, he didn't. It's still there. Oh, is it? Yep. Okay. When he repainted it, I thought you, it was. You you don't remove the dent from Boba Fett's helmet. <laughs> Every Boba Fett fan will come after you. It's okay. it's it's part of his identity. You have to sure. have the dent. Okay. All right. There are there are fan clubs out there actually called the Dented Helmet. <laughs> nice. Dedicated nice. Okay. to that. So. All right. Well, let's save that. Okay, everybody. You just got a preview of us doing our <laughs> special bounty Star Wars bounty hunter podcast coming soon to a podcast near you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All so right. bad batch number six decommission bad batch number six um so here so we're going back sid's allegiance which is it thank you for your explanation i do appreciate that it does help me thank you um i, I uh, in terms of this episode I, I did like the aspect of the droid the droid the commander droid you know the learning droid the strategery droid you know that does um you know that helps figure out you know, what are some different ways we can battle and fight and stuff? I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah, I always I liked those right. droids in, in the Clone Wars yes. series. I thought they were I thought interesting. they were good. Yeah, I agree. It's it's, chess, it's like a chess master droid. It's a yeah. real str- war strategy droid. I loved it. I oh. loved the concept. And so I did like, okay, that's a decent, you know, MacGuffin to go after. That's decent. I, Agreed. I'm like, I, I, okay, cool. Um and uh, I, I was like, okay, all right, I'll, I'll get into this. It's it's a neat concept to see what they do. But I think you're right. It does not pay off. No, they it, get it, and then they give it to the to the character to the you know not new, I almost said it two new character two new characters to the bad batch, but they are characters from the last season of Clone Wars. Right. Which those are the two that I said I when they were introduced in the Clone Wars, I felt they were throwaway characters. Um, very generic. I thought, I, they were generic, and I thought they were good in the aspect of, of that last season of Clone Wars for Ahsoka's journey. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They gave, I agree. They gave her perspective in her character arc, but that's all I saw them as. Right. They were just they were, generic is a good word. They, they were just there, and now we're bringing them back, and I'm like. Okay. Yes. You know, again, two people trying to make their way in the verse. Sure. You know, sure. <laughs> kind of a thing. All right, I'll yeah. go with that. <laughs> Maybe that's our subtitle for this episode: Bad Batch, making your way, way through the, the verse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. I like it. That's kind of cool. T-shirt. T-shirt. Ooh. Your way through the verse. I love it. Ooh. Maybe we got a new tagline. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, yeah. When they appeared, yeah, I, I was like, "Okay, oh, I remember these two. These two are from the Ahsoka episode." Okay, all right, we're going here. <laughs> uh huh. That was my feel. <laughs> this is where we're going. Right. Okay, bring back the generics. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So, can I just jump to the end? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> um. So. So here's what I understand about the ending. So we get the ending. The, we got those characters. I can't remember their names because they're so generic. Exactly. Oh, 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 oh. Um, gosh, I've never ripped on anything this bad before. I'm normally a positive guy. That's like, oh, it's that's yes, true. It's, <laughs> it's very um, true. Um, here's the thing. So there's a droid that pops up, and and the droid belongs to. It's R R seven. That is Ahsoka's droid. Oh, I understand. I missed that. Droid. Oh, um, and I uh, and to be open with you, I got that from Star Wars Theory. I like me some Star Wars Theory. I, I do like his stuff. <laughs> I know people have been dogging him lately, but you know I don't care. He he's worked hard. Oh no, Star Wars said. Theory is good. I like him. I think he's great. He's a good guy. Um, he is a good guy. He's Anyone just, who's just, listening, if you haven't watched Star Wars Theory, go check out his pod, or his YouTube channel. He does some really good stuff, and and yeah, I like Star Wars Theory. Yep, yep. So he he caught that, 
And and so he was like, hmm. But here's the thing. So that hologram at the end, he, in his opinion, and, and I, he sees things pretty well, that's not Ahsoka. I thought it was going to be Ahsoka because of the connection. Oh, uh, okay. He says no. He says no. That, that's, huh? No, he, he thinks Bail Organa. Ah, interesting. Okay. Because it's the beginning of the rebellion kind of a thing. This is the time period of it's right after Order 66. Well, what was Bail Organa doing right at Order 66? He was he was trying to Okay, to that's Yoda. interesting because that's not who I thought it was at all. I, I thought it was Ahsoka. I thought it was Fennec. Really? Yeah. I thought it was oh, Fennec. Well, all right, so everybody, there you go. Next week's episode should be interesting. Which Who is the hologram? And if they don't pay off in that episode, I'm, I'll be like, Mike, you're just gonna have to fill me but in. But see, on that this. also I'm not my time. that plays into her. Uh, it plays into Sid's amb- amb- ambiguity. Help. Thank you. <laughs> I can't say I'm that tracking. word. <laughs> I can't say. See, that I word. pay attention to you. Other people may not believe so, but no, I was kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> Glad you pay attention to me because nobody else does. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> wait, what'd you oh. say? Yeah, no, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, no, uh, I I think if that's Fennec, it plays into that ambiguity of of who Sid actually is, whose side she's on. Because um, she wouldn't it be funny if if Fennec? No, because Sid said that Fennec was direct. Was a direct. Uh, right. There was no middleman to hire Fennec, or Fennec hired her, or Fennec or Sid is if Sid hired Fennec. Oh, maybe I don't Just know. To throw that off. I don't know. Interesting, uh, but that's who I thought it was. I thought it's Fennec. Hmm. Okay. So it's interesting oh, wow. that he thinks it's Bail Organa. Yeah. Wow. He thinks it's Bell Organa. I didn't even see now. Now I might have to rewatch it. I just to catch what he, why he thinks that. I may just watch his episode. Just watch. Well, yeah, I'll watch, watch it. his I'll, episode and his explanation. I'll watch I, that I, first. I can't do it justice, huh? I'll, I'll definitely watch that first be, before I make a decision yeah, to it's rewatch. Not long. It's only like oh yeah, I his know. review of that thing is like eight minutes, right? I yeah, think, if I remember right, I was yeah. like, oh, eight minutes. I could do that while I'm sitting on the toilet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm making that up. Okay, man. How many of you watch YouTube videos? Why? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> None of us want to hear about you on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, golly gee. You know, you never know where things are going to lead on the Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. <laughs> right to the toilet, apparently. Uh, we're dropping <laughs> some big ones in our episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you call me the troublemaker. <laughs> I mean, I'm just on it today for whatever. Yeah, reason. you I'm are. A little honored, what do you What do you got so. in your drink there, man? I know, right? Trust me, it's early. It's just my morning <laughs> caffeine, no sugar drink. <laughs> here, here, this is what I got to say. Which I need to refill. Did you hear that? No, do it again. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh boy. All right, all right. Let's get I, back I, to the so, episode. So part of that is, um, I. You know, he, I'm trying to remember what he says about about you know his viewpoint, but I think because of the timing of it, it's the beginning of the rebellion. I okay. think that's where he's at. Um, I don't know. See, I thought Ahsoka, um, and when I started watching his episode, I thought, oh, ooh, okay, that's her droid. So it's got to be Ahsoka. You know, that's that uh, makes sense. Thanks for, thanks for reaffirming me. You know, I if Star Wars theory thinks so, then I was like, oh, wait, he says no. <laughs> oh, man. You know, because he's, you know, he knows so much. He's able to pull together all kinds of different strands and kind of weave a tapestry of an sure. opinion that you're like, boom, you got it, you know, kind of a thing. And, and, uh, and so, I mean, he could be wrong, and he's he's always open to say when he's wrong, kind sure. of thing. That's what I like about him. He's just an open guy. And um, but yeah, <laughs> I was like, man, I thought for sure that was going to be Ahsoka, and I still do. Well, and I didn't. I did not game. catch that that was uh, Ahsoka's droid. I, I I like that you you 
pointed that out. That's pretty he interesting. Said that and I was like, oh, what? wow. So I'm like, yeah. So that's why I say Ahsoka. But you okay. Know, and but you're saying oh, so. So help me understand. Why do you think Finnick? So because- I don't know. Just because she's, we know that she's looking for um, Omega, and I just kind of, I just assume that okay, it's got to be Finnick. Um, mm-hmm. I I didn't. I wouldn't have even put Bail Organa in there. I, I'm interested in how he got to that. That's. Um, right. See, I went with Fennec because I know that she's after Omega. That's the reason I went with Fennec. And because we've gotten this question of whose side Sid really is on. So Mm -hmm. that's where I came up with that. I'm like, well, you know, Fennec's looking for her. We're not sure where Sid actually, where her loyalties actually lie. There's a chance she could be double crossing the Bad Batch. There's a possibility. Um, Right. I mean, ultimately, I don't want it to go that way. I, I like Sid, and I, I want her to stay on the Bad Batch's side. But I'm open to it if, if she if she switches sides. I'm or can't really even say switches sides, you know. Um, right. I, again, if her you said if her you appeared said makes sense. If her appeared allegiance changes, I'm okay mm-hmm. with it. I'm I'm okay. okay. I, I'm not I'm not like totally emotionally. Uh, attached to this character, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I'm okay if she if she's actually ends up on the other side, it, it, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm interested in how he got to Bail Organa. I'd like to know that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That that's that's very interesting. But well, I guess because you're going after uh, the uh, tactical information from a uh, separatist droid, mm-hmm. I could see on the rebellion side them wanting that. So maybe that's the, the uh yeah, that's that's not a bad well he theory. says it's one of two reasons. He and I and I like these reasons. I didn't think of the second one, but I did think of the first one. But because of what the first one being, hey, I want I want the plans. I want to know what they've learned, how to fight against them. I got that. Yeah, that makes sense for Bail Organa then. But he said the second thing could be the reason somebody wants that droid head is exactly what happened in that episode that they used the droid to take over all the other droids in the faculty in the facility, excuse me. Yeah. In the facility. So in other words, can we use this technology to take a hold of the other droids to fight for us? To have the droids fight on the rebellion side. Who, who, whoever gets the head. It, I don't that we're still ambiguous on who we don't know who wants the, the, the head of the droid or the I, I like that except that the droids are all stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> Roger Roger. Wait. Roger Roger. Oh, did we win? You know, yeah, kind of that was funny. That, that, that was funny. I did that was funny. I did like that. I was like, oh, we're bringing back some more, you know. <laughs> this is, you know, we're bringing back some of the fun with the droids. <laughs> Roger Roger. <laughs> Roger Roger. <laughs> I thought I had a Roger Roger sound, but I guess I don't. <laughs> I'm looking for it. Sorry. That's all right. Oh well. So and there was some other funny part. Let's talk about another funny part in there that I liked. It was the whole thing. Is there an echo in here? You know, that scene. Uh, that was hilarious. That was pretty funny. That was great because um, the – the <laughs> here here I go again. I don't know their names. The two generic sisters. <laughs> right. <laughs> the one made a comment. I don't remember what she said. And then the other it made the exact – she pretty much repeated what she said. And then she goes, right. is there an echo in here? And then, of course, our – our Echo, Echo from up. Bad Batch. Yes, I'm oh, yes, Echo. There is. Uh, I'm Echo. <laughs> and she's like, okay. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I enjoyed that. That was funny. Yeah, it was. It was It was funny. So, uh, you know, there's some good elements in it, and that's where I'll give it, you know, two and a half stars for those good elements. Yeah, um, there was some good comedic elements. I like that. It was. I just was like, well, okay, you know, here we go get this. I, I give you... I give points for, hey, great concept for a MacGuffin to go get it. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I didn't like the payoff. I didn't um, either. Then, but before we get to the payoff, we need to talk about something else. We sure. need to talk about the actual story development to the overall arc. And that is Wrecker. He said it. 
It's gonna make me. He sad. said it. Yeah, but we got it. We got to acknowledge it. He didn't say it, but he heard it in his head. Right. Well, he. Because I it, watch when I watch it. I watch it with the subtitles. Okay. And oh, um, and the voice was um, who's the sharpshooter? Um, oh, uh, Crosshair. Crosshair. It's cross. It the the. The subtitle said it was Crosshair's voice that said, "Really, a good soldier You're... follows orders." Yes. Well, and I don't think he finished it. I think you just heard a good soldier. At least that's what I heard. Yeah, good point. Good point. I can't remember. Which is why I thought it. that that he actually mumbled it. I thought it was actually Wrecker mumbling, "A good soldier, a good soldier." Right. I think it, when it, it comes up later on, I think the whole thing is said, a good soldier follows orders, but it was not him saying it. It was Crosshair's voice in his head, according to the subtitle. Interesting. See, I didn't know that. I did not know that at all. I thought it was Crosshair himself. It was faint. The only but, reason I caught it but it's was still, because it was subtitled. But it's still in his head. It's still in his head. Right. You know, I know Which I means we are on the verge of him crossing over. Uh, which is what we've been saying ever since he hit his head. And nobody you know. wants it. No, I, I don't no. want it. No, no. Record, no, Filoni, don't right. do it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's still there's still a possibility of his redemption. Um, you know, it, got it. the thing is, is you always have to have tension in stories. That's right. what makes stories stories is tension and getting over right. the tension. So look, I, yeah, it's part of the story that that. You know, we know it's coming. The question is, is he going to be over? Is he going to overcome it or it, will he actually switch? That's that's the big question. He's um, going to overcome it. I, He's going to overcome it. We're going to be like, yeah. I hope so. I hope you're right. I don't. Great moment Wrecker I'm is my favorite member of the Bad Batch. I like him. He Right. He's dumb, but he's fun. <laughs> I enjoy right. him. I really, yeah. really do. And I really hate to see him cross, but mm-hmm. I don't know. So I, I think we're going to get that tension for several more episodes. I don't think it's, it's not like next episode we're going to know, you know. I You're right, because it was, what, two episodes earlier that he was, like, having a headache. Right, right. They're they're going to. Um, they're going to push this further out. It's so he, yeah. And here's, I think here's, that's my issue is look, uh, tell me the story kind of a thing. And you're wanting to know now. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. If you want to spit it out, but don't make 17 episodes when you can do it in 12. <laughs> the, now, if you remember, this was my issue with Jupiter's legacy. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 like, I remember it, it could be shortened, and I think that's it. I mean, just give me, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 all right, I got words. <laughs> you're, you're making uh, weird noises now, Stephen. I know I got words in my in my brain, and I can't get them out of my mouth. So you know, and it, it's just, I don't make it more than it needs to be. Don't draw it out. You know, it's like some movies. Some movies are two and a half hours long, and they only need to be two hours. Sure. Kind of a thing. Sure. Because, come on, I can only hold my pee for so long. Two and a half hours is a long time. What is it I'm with you going older. to the bathroom lately? I don't know. I don't <laughs> oh know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. But, my, you know, I'm just saying that it doesn't have to be drawn out. And I hope they don't keep drawing this out. I get it. You, two episodes ago, you introduced the issue. Now you're doing a little bit more in this one that where he hits his head. Okay, I get it. And then, you know, but don't go all 17. Don't go to the very end to get it, you know. I don't know if we're going to – I don't know if they'll hold it all the way through 16, through the 16th episode. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's going to be that long. But I'm positive but, it, it's sticking around for a little while. I'm, I'm all for – here's my thing. I'm all for if you want to bring up story elements that are go through a season, perfect. But don't you dare bring up something and then not do a payoff until another season later, like a cliff. You know, I'm okay for a cliffhanger that you bring up at the oh, very I get, end yeah. of the season as you're wrapping up everything. I mean, come on. We got 
Luke Skywalker at the end of Mandalorian, the last episode. And I'm like, well, what's going to happen next? That's okay to introduce that kind of cliffhanger. Sure. But if you introduce a story element within a season, you better do a payoff within that season. That's like saying bringing up a story element in a movie that you don't pay off till the next movie. Right. Yeah. You, you've lost me. I'm not going to care about it three years down the road or a TV series. I'm probably not going to care about it later on because you didn't give me the payoff. I don't mind like the, one of the greatest cliffhangers for me was in a TV series was episode or season three, I believe of star Trek, the next generation where Jean-Luc Picard became a Borg. Oh and yeah. I remember episode, that. So resistance is few, you know, like, Oh no, it's, it's got to Picard. Is that a Borg? Oh my gosh. You know? And then it says to be continued. And then you realize what just happened? Now I got to wait a summer to find out. You know, right? It, it, that was how it was. What was the old show? We talked about this. Dallas, who shot Jr. Who shot Jr. Yeah, same thing. That was the. I, I don't know if that was the first time it was done, but it was. I think I, that might have been like the first uh, big cliffhanger. The, the first time a, a season cliffhanger right. occurred. Because a lot of times you'd wrap up everything oh, all nice and tidy. And then that was one, <gasps> you know, then the whole summer was who shot JR. You well, know, yeah, of. but we go back to again, my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. And to me, uh, cinematic classic, um, we get the reveal of Darth Vader, who Darth Vader is. And, right. and then, you know, it's left. That was, is that is was, he really Luke's father? Right. But that was left at the end. That was a good cliffhanger. Because well, yeah, but we had three years to wait <laughs> to find well, out was Vader lying or was he not? You know. But see, I love that. I love that. Uh, here, here's the difference. I think it's something that if you have a storyline that you are continuing to sprinkle through something that that belongs in that season. Yeah. Bringing up Darth Vader, I am your father, was a uh, was like who shot Jr. It was Jean sure. Picard becoming because oh now there's this new element to tie you know to oh I can do all this guessing and stuff like this. But if you have something strung through the whole thing, it's like okay, Luke in Empire Strikes Back, Luke starts training to fight Darth Vader, and then he goes to Cloud City and like oh movie's over. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, where's my payoff? You know, kind right, of thing. Right, right. And that's, I, I think that's where my th that's where my thoughts are. As well, as I, I, I don't this I, whole thing with his Wrecker's head. You know, it better not keep continuing over. That's my point. I'm just, I'm just griping. Man, okay. I'm griping a lot today. Wow, you <laughs> dang. <laughs> St Steven needs to take some Motrin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I will. By golly. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I don't think it's going to drag the entire season. I I, I think we're going to get it for a few more episodes. Okay. And then I, I think we're going to figure out whether he actually will um, switch sides or not. I, I think it's coming. Um, and I think even if he does switch sides, I think he's coming back. You know what I mean? Okay. That's I, another redemption arc. Right. I, I That's where I think this is possibly going. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Right. We still got a few right. episodes before we, we know what's happening with that. But <clears throat> obviously yeah. this is going to drag on a little bit. Yeah. So. 20 minute filler episodes. <laughs> Man, I am just dogging today. Wow. Right, I got to well, cut that out. <laughs> remember, in day, in day Filoni we trust. Just, just remember Whatever. that. Just remember that. <laughs> Hey, congrats Dave. to him on his new promotion. Oh, though. yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's good. Yep. I, I'd i like to see Dave take more and more control. <laughs> mm -hmm. I say give the whole thing to Dave and John Favreau and let them go. Let them run. run with it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I think they're doing a fantastic job, even if you don't like these episodes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Agreed. Overall, they're doing great, and sometimes they have to have filler episodes. Yeah. And they well, you know, Dave filler. Filoni did uh, Sunny Day in the Void too, and I, I like I said, those those are my least favorite <laughs> Clone Wars episodes ever. Uh, you can just skip over those three, four episodes, whatever it was. I mean, that was right. a month of of droids dragging on in the desert, and it's like, really? 
Come on. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't exactly. need this. <laughs> I do not really? need this at all. Agreed. It was it was terrible. Agreed. So so yeah, I get what you're saying. I, I get it. Yeah. I don't know. So. All right. All <laughs> right. So is that the end of our episode? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Dang. <laughs> Harsh, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, uh, with that, thanks for joining us for our <laughs> bonus episode. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe you're right. Maybe there wasn't as uh, much in this to talk about. <laughs> there really wasn't. I mean, I mean, it was good action. I mean, you know, you know, I, I, we didn't talk about Omega's ability with the bow and learning. Yeah, and that was fun. That was that fun. Was, I like that. I think it was good about the aspect of practice and skill. Yeah. I, I thought that was a good lesson in that. I like the um, aliens betting on her. That was great. <laughs> that was pretty fun. And having and, and, and one giving her a hard time to make her mess up. Kind yeah. Of a thing yeah. And, stuff. and she's yeah. like, I could do better if you'd shut up. <laughs> Right, I love and that. I thought it was a good. I, I thought it was a good lesson about distraction, and they brought that back up later in the episode. So, I'm yeah, like, okay. And I liked you know. her weapon. She's she's got a bow and arrow. I thought that was kind of cool. She got that from the the Moochie episode, right? Yeah, I, I think, think so. That, yeah, I think yeah. she got that. Yeah. So, so you know, that's kind of neat. I think it's appropriate re- weapon for her. Um, it's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that, I like it. That I was like a good it. aspect of the episode. I love me some Green Arrow, and oh, know, that's true. And, there you go. So I'm like, okay, I can handle this. This will be cool. Of course, logistically, it's like if you're shooting laser bolts, why don't you just use a gun? You know, <laughs> that's where part of my brain was. Saying. Well, okay, <laughs> I, I'm going to give you the the Disney. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> This is this is Disney going. We can't give a gun to a I don't know how a roll to a kid. To a oh, kid. Good call. Yeah, that's good what this call. is. Okay. Now I go back to right. this is a great time to teach gun safety. Um, <laughs> you know, keep your keep your finger off. You know, keep your booger hook off the the bang bang switch. Um, <laughs> the booger. Hook that, off that's the bang that's bang what we, that's what we learn in in gun safety. Keep your booger hook <laughs> off the bang bang switch. Um, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you only put your your finger on the trigger when you intend to use it. Otherwise, you, you don't touch something. Right. Yeah. Don't point it in direction you're not willing to destroy. Right. Exactly. So to me, that's a great time to teach gun safety. But, but they're not going to do that. Oh no, no, they're not going to do that. <laughs> that's not the yeah. But. You know what we did get was interesting and good. So no, you know. and I, I again I like the bow and arrow. That's cool. My my nephew's into bow and arrows. I'm sure he he'll enjoy the fact that she's using bow and arrows, and he'll think it's cool that you know she uses a weapon that he uses. So right, yeah, you know, I'm all, I'm I'm fine with it. But yeah, I'm kind of with you. I'd I'd rather use a gun if <laughs> that right. But that's that's my brain. So it's not Disney. Right, right. <laughs> Disney's not going to go there. <laughs> There's other so, things they're trying to take in consideration. We'll give them that. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll, okay. and we'll leave it at that. Right. <laughs> right. Otherwise, I'm going to start going off. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this interesting episode, <laughs> bonus episode of The Bad Batch, number six. And, I, I'll bet um, our Bad Batch episode is different from anybody else's out there. So. I bet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably so. So if you made it to the end, thank you so much. We're so thankful that you joined us today. And, um, yeah, I look forward to next week. Let's see what the stuff we talked about. Let's see what happens next week. Awesome. Well, and, and again, if you made it to the end, please check out our, our uh, web page, Facebook page. Our web page is our hub to everything. You can get to our fa- Facebook page, our Twitter account, um, our YouTube uh, page, um, our Kofi page, if if you f- you know feel in- so inclined, please go sponsor us on on Kofi. It's two dollars, two dollars gets you in for thirty days, or you can subscribe monthly, same price, two bucks, get you any extras that we do. Um, we put the full videos up there. They're you know they're available. So please please consider. Um, our uh, subscriptions could use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anything else, Stephen? 
No, that's it. Thanks, everybody. All right. With that said, over and out. May the force be with you. Thank you for joining us today on the Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. Tune in next week when we will have more news and reviews. Until then, may the force be with you. <laughs>